in Mukurukayavislam and other informal settlements, residents lack access to proper sanitation. According to WaterAid, a non-governmental organization, 29 million Kenyans lack access to toilets and instead use what is commonly known as flying toilets, where plastic bags are improvised for toilets and thrown away in the open streets. <laughs> To David Auerbach, this was both a human rights crisis as well as an opportunity for a profitable business. So first, we're building a dense network of low-cost, high-quality, waterless toilets, which we sell to residents living in the informal settlements. One such local entrepreneur that is running the Fresh Life Toilets is Leah. The income they make is theirs. We don't ask them to give us part of that income after uh, they have paid for the toilet. Vile choziko ndivyo unahesabu pia watu. Mimi napata watu more than 100 na zaidi wanaingia hapa kwa kila siku. The waste is then collected daily from the Fresh Life toilets and transported to the Sanergy processing facility. This is where the process begins of converting the human waste into organic fertilizer. When they bring the site here, then it's our job to process it into uh, organic fertilizer. And we do that by a method called biodecomposition. We take the, the samples to third party laboratories. Uh, they test so that we can ensure that the fertilizer is safe. Uh, after they have tested and uh, we have been assured that the fertilizer is safe, we take them to other laboratory tests for nutrients so that we are sure that what we are selling to farmers uh, is, uh, is, is rich in nutrients. After months of conversion and rigorous testing, the waste is finally ready to be sold as fertilizer. Farmers pay twice the global average price for fertilizer here in Kenya, mostly because of transportation and tariffs. And so the fact that we're able to produce nutrient-rich organic fertilizer locally is really attractive to these farmers because it's more affordable. But the biggest challenge that Sanergy faces is addressing the social attitudes towards using human waste as fertilizer. Uh, for me, as a human being, I don't think it's right to use uh, human waste as fertilizer. It's better to use animal waste. <laughs> Michelle Morgan reporting for Citizen Business.